Data Validation is a great resource in Excel. It allows you to make your spreadsheets easier for other people to use by putting drop-down menus right inside of cells. For the first one, we're going to let people choose from one of four names. Click on Data, Validate, and I'm going to allow any value from this list. And you're going to type in the four names with commas in between. OK. And now you'll see a little drop-down menu shows up, and you can select any of these names. It makes it really easy for people to input data. Now, let's say you have a longer list. Here I have all the states. I'm going to click on the cell, Validate. Again, I'm going to select List. This time, I'm going to click the little button to the right of the text field and highlight the data. The data, unfortunately, must be in the same sheet as the cells that you're validating. So now, when I click on this cell, my drop-down menu contains everything in this list. I can also restrict the type of data. So here I want dates, let's say, only from this year. So I click Validate, Allow Value, Date, greater than or equal to, the first day of the year, OK. And so if I try to put in the older date, I get an error message. And I can actually personalize this error message. So if I go back to Validate, and I go to error alert, I can say must be this year, OK. Now if someone tries to put in a date from last year, my personalized error message will show up. And this is just a few examples of the ways to use data validation. It's a great resource in Excel, and I really love the drop-down functionality. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.